Here it comes. White flag for Terrio. Austin Terrio in his first arc is start. He's running select races this year. The NASCAR Nationwide Series for Junior Motorsports. Finished 15th in his first start at Iowa back in May. Is that a little bit of debris on his grill? Obviously, with only half lap to go, that's not going to affect anything. Maybe it's helping him. On his way to becoming the 19th different winner in the last 19 Michigan races. Six different winner in 2014. Checkered flag awaits. And the winner of the Michigan ARCA 200 is Austin Tyrio. First win in his first start. What a... What an, how about this battle for eighth here? Austin Wayne self all over the back of Grand Enfinger. Enfinger needs every point he can get, and he'll get the points for finishing eighth. Good battle there. Austin Wayne self early on got into the outside wall. But take nothing away from this young man here, Austin Terrio. The last ARCA driver to win in his series debut is Alex Bowman in Madison in 2011. It's now Austin Terrio here at Michigan in 2014. And I'll say it again, Mason Mitchell's got to be saying, what have I got to do? Exactly. It's going to be his fifth second place finish in his last 10 races. the safer barrier. And because of that, we are not going to be able to resume as what I'm hearing at this point. So this one is going to be official. And Austin Terrio is a winner at Daytona in the ARCA Racing Series. Congratulations to Austin Terrio, his second career win in just his third start. And what a start to 2017 for Austin Terrio. Could be the start of a championship run for him. He, he made the pass on the outside so hard to do. You can see there's crew chief Don, Donnie Richardson right there and his crew celebrating. <laughs> Monkey's off his back. There's Ann Schrader. Ann's probably the car owner, really, not Kenny Schrader. We will hear from Austin Terrio during race day coming up in just a few minutes. So stay tuned to hear from Austin Terrio, the winner here in Daytona. In Can he get it done and drive underneath him? That might be the move right there. White flag he leads is out. the strike with one to go. Wow, Austin Terrio, great move. Four car battle for the lead. Half a lap to go. Oh, hurts a little bit sideways. Anchors on the back bumper. Terrio tries to loosen him up. He does. He pulls back up a Saudi. Zane Smith spins out. Terrio wins it. Oh, and a big wreck back behind him involving Zane Smith. Holy smokes, what a wild finish here. An incredible race at Elko Speedway. And the 52 car hangs on by a skin. I mean a bumper. Woo! Wow! <laughs> we knew there'd be some excitement here. Oh, by the way, Cole Anderson, it looks like See if we can get a shot of him on that front straightaway. But Cole Anderson looks like he might have been the car that collected Zane Smith in a big moment down there. Yeah, three cars stopped. Shane Lee, Zane Smith, as well as Cole Anderson. There you see them. That Smith in the right 55. The strike, man. Wow. We can see the helmet coming off for Cole Anderson. Good news there. The head net is down or the side net is down yeah and of course uh, man this much work and this late in the race tempers are gonna flare and you can see uh, the it's like 55. they're calling people up there for the 55 well, Zane he, Smith he and just yeah he just took the steering wheel off and set it there so that's we great can see news. him moving around and of course Talking the Cunningham Cunningham crew over there on Shane Lee Shane Lee with a couple of big wrecks here in back to back white flag races. in hand for Austin Terrio here we go half a mile to go here in Madison and a lapper right there to play part of this role. Zane Smith ducks down behind him and then gets up. I thought he almost hit him, but he lost a lot of ground. He did hit the 34, I believe. Basham spins around. No caution. Basham to the inside. It looks like Terrio will get the win here at Madison. Short track racing at its best. Congratulations. Austin Terrio. Picks up his third win on the season, as you were talking about. Still the only multi-winner here on the season. Zane Smith, though, qualified second and finishes second. Tough, tough young man, and it's great to see him make a great rebound after that big hit that he had 
a weekend ago at Michigan. Just caught the 34 at the wrong place at the wrong time, coming off turn number two, trying to battle for the lead. Spins out Basham, but ends up in second. We'll talk to the top three whenever we come back in just a moment. Riley Herbst rounds out the podium, and everybody is sitting on the front straightaway waiting for an interview. Stay with us. I say final we'll restart. It may not be the final restart. It's <laughs> we get set to go green. And Cindric on the gas. Oh, look at him there by the wall. I just saw the nose of that Cunningham car stick out. I think that was Sargent right down there by the wall who got a huge jump. Cindric with a great start here. Cole Custer right behind him is now he'll take a look to the inside and turn one, a touch! He blows smoke off the front tires and blows turn number one, takes Austin Cindric with him. Austin is going to be livid and Cole Custer with a huge mistake gets back on the track. Yeah, Custer does get back on the racetrack very quickly, though he does fall to the tail of the field. Meanwhile, Cindric still trying to get that 99 turned around and get back on course. Yeah, I think that's the only person that Cole did get around. And take a look at this. Are you kidding me? The 77 car of Dalton Sargent is leading this race from, I believe he restarted in 14th place and then blows turn five. Sargent off the race course, tiffed, nowhere to go in the 28. So one, two gets taken out. One, two gets taken out again. And now it looks like Austin Terrio is our leader on course. Henriksen also got into Tiff, so tore his car up back there, and you've got to be kidding me. How does the 52 car, who's not been in the top five all day long, end up leading on the last lap? Sometimes it's just a magical season for you. One thing I can promise you is he won't make any mistakes. Riley Herbst to second. Now Dalton Sargent, who fell back to third there, able to get back on the race course in third, finds himself right behind Riley Herbst. He's got P.J. Jones behind him running fourth. And you can see that left rear fender for Dalton Sargent sticking way out there like a parachute. It's going to be very difficult here, this high-speed section, to really make up some ground. Riley Herbst right there in front of him. Look at that hood start to shake as he gets up in that low pressure area off the spoiler. And there's a move right there. Beautiful job out of Dalton Sargent. Just those two good tires on there, but no, he blows the brake zone again. And this could allow P.J. Jones to get by, and it looks like Jones will be able to get by the 77 or not. They go side by side for the third spot. Sergeant fighting hard all the while. The 52 car owned by Kenny Schrader, driven by Austin Terrio through the final turn with a huge gap. It's going to come up here and grab yet another win. An amazing effort here for the 52 car. Austin Terrio's fourth win on the season and stretches the points out after a crazy last lap shootout. And P.J. Jones does edge Dalton Sargent for the final podium spot and comes home third for that RFMS Racing 2017. And we're actually hearing on the radio now that crossing the line and fourth is Dalton Sargent, but will be penalized for spots for jumping the start. He was penalized as many spots as he passed before the, th the green flag was thrown here at the finish line. Austin Sendrick somehow ends up in sixth place, but no doubt a dejected sixth place as we go on board with him. And there's a pretty good chance he might be trying to hunt down Cole Custer. Yeah, I think he's probably asking uh, his team, where is the 78 car? And Zane Smith. Trying to get to third. Smith does it in the eight car. Saw Cole Rouse get loose there. He got the fence momentarily. The 15 is off the pace. Inside a lap to go. Sheldon Creed looking for his first career win in ARCA. Austin Terrio trying to all but wrap up the championship with win number seven. No one's won that many since 2009. The Creed is right on him. And here comes Zane Smith coming to the bottom side. Creed drifts up high, brushes the wall. Smith grabs second, but Terrio is going to take the checkered flag. Austin Terrio wins for the seventh time in 2017, and he will be this year's ARCA Racing Champ. I, we talked about it earlier. Wow. Never the fastest at the beginning of these races, but what a way to rebound, come back through the field, be methodical, go to victory lane. What a heck of a way to finish off this race. And he held off some young, hard chargers there on that green-white checker. And one thing's for sure, Sheldon Creed, 
major kudos for tonight. He mm -hmm. did a great job. He was pushing for everything he had right there. Unfortunately, got up, maybe got the outside wall a little bit, which opened the door for Zane Smith, who also had a great night coming back from an early early spin and, and being able to drive his way up through there. So definitely a great finish for uh, for these guys. And that 52 car right there, those guys are definitely some proud, uh, proud crew members and a proud driver behind that wheel. Awesome restart by Terrio, and he knew what he had. He knew where Sheldon Creed was going to run. He knew where the line he had to run, and he pedaled it probably to one of the fastest laps he's done around Kentucky Speedway. Coming up, check out.